uh, one of my adventures of having an Airbnb. Pros and cons. I guess this is one of the cons. This would be uh, my experience with one of the one percenters. 99 percenter, awesome. And people wonder why we charge so much for cleaning fees for uh, after an Airbnb guest leaves. I suspect those are toenails. This guy was asked several times Do you want uh, do you want me to come in and clean up? Because I don't enter anybody's space unless they want me to. Oh no no no! I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. Here's one that you'll really get a kick out of. I actually put some uh, uh, detergent soap in here just because uh, this is gonna be so hard to clean. Um, but yeah. Um, I don't know how people live like this, to be honest with you, but uh, teach his own. When the guy left, okay, when he left, I said, uh, hey, I sent him a message saying, hey, how come the uh, floor mat, which was right here, right here, because when I came in here to look at the tub, I stepped on it and instantly my foot was soaking wet. I says, uh, how come the floor mat was completely soaking wet? I picked it up and put it in the... Um, Tub. He says, uh, and he says, because every time I have a shower, the water would come out. And I'm like, weird. You shower with the shower curtain open. And then when I came back in, I realized he never put the shower curtain inside the tub. So it was always hanging out. Now this guy was from a different country. He's a young guy, but apparently he's lived here in Canada for four years. He was uh, staying in Winnipeg, but he came to Brandon here for a course. Okay. And had he has he not learned in four years that you put the shower curtain on the inside of the tub when you shower? I mean, it's a two-piece deal, right? There's an outside part and an inside part. So, there it is there sitting on the table, but it's it's been washed twice because it smelled really bad. And um, uh, thrown in the dryer, so it's dry. But... <laughs> Then I go, and by the way, there was a whole, there were two brand new sets of towels in there, meaning uh, bath towel, hand towel, and face cloth. Two different brand new sets. Where are those? His girlfriend helped him move out, so I'm thinking maybe she didn't know they belonged to us, so she just packed them. But he goes, no, uh, I actually threw those out because uh, they were just too dirty. And like, but look, in our own suite, he was doing his laundry here. He was washing his clothes here. 
wash and dry, washing machine, dryer. He was doing the bedding. He was doing, uh, you know, his clothes. How dirty. These were brand new towels. How dirty. I'm using towels that I've had for years still. How... <sighs> I don't know what to say. I just I just don't know what to say. Other than uh, nice guy, quiet guy, but glad he's gone. All right? Really glad he's gone. One of the other things that used to annoy me about him was he knows the rules. He was allowed to cook and uh, bring his own food, cook, do whatever, use whatever. Microwave, air fryer, toaster, oven. Uh, all of this stuff, rice cooker, all that. He had his actually his own rice cooker, but he always left his dirty dishes in the sink. And it was the rule was if you cook, clean up after yourself. No, didn't do that. Anyway, the joys of being Airbnb. I really like it. Ninety nine percent of the people that have stayed here have been fantastic. But then you get the odd one percent. Right. OK.